Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my newest members, Jeng Tolga and Jonathan00. I hope you didn't I didn't mispronounce your name. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are giving shout outs in my videos. If you want to become a member, you can just click the join button. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power 142 and 9 to the power 45. And we're going to find out which number is greater. And we're going to be looking at a couple different possibilities here. Let's see what happens. So first of all, you probably are thinking about the same thing that I'm thinking. 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8, which is basically less than 9, which is 3 squared. So we have this inequality between powers of 2 and powers of 3, which we can write as 2 to the third and 3 to the second. Now, why did I bring up the 3 to the second power? Because we're going to be dealing with 9, and 9 to the power of 45 can easily be turned into a power of 3. So let's take let's take a look at this and see if we can turn this into something we know. We could also write this inequality as 2 to the power 3 is less than 9 so that we can directly deal with powers of 9. Okay now I want to get to 142 so a good step here would be to divide 142 by 3 and if you do you're going to get 47 and then of course there's going to be a remainder because 142 is not divisible but if you go ahead and take this number and raise it to the power 47 and do the same thing on the right hand side you'll get a true inequality now let's take a look at what happens here this gives us 2 to the power 141 is less than 9 to the power 47 now this is kind of close to what we're trying to get our original problem gives us 2 to the power 142 and 9 to the 45. Uh, so we're kind of a little off here on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So in this case it might make sense to multiply both sides by 2 because I want to get to 2 to the power 142 which is a very large number by the way and I'm going to tell you what it is towards the end of the video but let's go ahead and try to get something out of this. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 here and, and we should be getting something like this right. So now I want to, so what I have on the left hand side is pretty good, but right hand side is not that good. So using transitive property, I want to use transitive property here. So that would be nice if uh, this expression right here was less than 9 to the power 45, because that would imply that our number, original number 2 to the power 142, is less than 9 to the power 45. But unfortunately, that's not true, because if you think about it, even 9 to the power 47 is greater than 9 to the power 45 and if you multiply that by 2 it's going to be even greater. So this inequality is not going to work therefore this is not going to really get us anywhere. Okay so I just wanted to show you something that doesn't work. Why? Because sometimes when you're dealing with problem solving you also need to know what doesn't work. So time to time I'll do this thing. I hope you don't mind. Now. Another way to approach this problem is of course a little different than what we did here. So let's rewrite our numbers. Is it 2 to the power 142 or 9 to the power 45? Which one is greater? Now, I want to turn this 9 to the 45 to a power of 3. So let's go ahead and write this as 3 to the power 90. So now our candidates are 2 to the power 142 and or we can write or oh, doesn't really matter. No, no big deal or 3 to the power 90. So which number is larger, right? That's what we're trying to find. Obviously, you can use a calculator, but calculators are not allowed. So we have to do without. Now, so what can I do? I'm going to look at powers of 2 and 3. So let's go ahead and list them. Powers of 2. I have 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and then 64, 128, 256, 512, so on and so forth. And then I have the powers of 3, which is 3, 9, 27, 81, 243, 729, 2187, so on. Oops, I messed up on that one. 2187, so on and so forth. Okay. Now, if you're comparing a power of 2 with a power of 3, notice that the power of 2, uh, the exponents are going to be larger because the base is smaller. So we want to bring them closer as close as possible. 
I'm looking at these numbers. They don't seem to be matching, except maybe these two numbers are kind of close. That's one possibility. So I have 2 to the 8th, and that should be, I think, 3 to the 5th power. So I can try to go off of that route, or I have another alternative. Let's continue in, this, uh, in these powers, and we get 2048. Now, I'd like to use this number and that number. Now, why? You'll see in a little bit why. And we can also revisit this uh, expression right here. Let's see if 2 to the 8th and 3 to the 5th is going to give us something uh, like that as well. Okay, great. So now let's take a look at what happens here. So I can safely say that 2 to the power, and by the way, this is 2 to the power 11, and this is 3 to the power 7. Okay, great. So this tells us that 2 to the power 11 is less than 3 to the power 7. Great. So now, my goal is to get to 142. I can't get there directly because it's not divisible by 11, but I can just go ahead and um, get to 143. So let's go ahead and um, raise both sides to the power 13, and that that's going to give me 2 to the power 143. This is less than 3 to the power 91. Okay, that's pretty close because remember, we have 2 to the power 142 versus 3 to the power 90. So that's pretty good. Now, I can definitely use the fact that 2 to the power 142 is less than 2 to the power 143. So I can write that here. And as you know, 3 to the power 91 is less than 3 to the power 90. So what does this uh, chain of inequalities tell us? It tells us that 2 to the power 142 is less than 3 to the power 90. Okay, great. So that's the result, pretty much. Uh, and of course, uh, if you replace 3 to the power 90 with, you know, the original expression, which was 9 to the power 45, you'll get the result. Great. Now, let's see if we can get something similar with these two powers of 2 and 3. So I have 2 to the 8th power, and I want to get to 142. So what happens if, first of all, think about it, like 142 obviously is not, div is not divisible by uh, 8, right? Uh, what is divisible by it? 120 is divisible by 8. Uh, obviously, if you add another 20 to it, it's not going to be divisible, so it's not going to work. If you add 24 to it, that is going to work. So 2 to the power 144 might work. And let's see how that gives us... Okay, let's see. 144 is 8 times what? So that's something we need to talk about. And it's 18, right? Because this is how... Um, Anyways, half of 144 is 72. That's how I got that. So 8 times 18. So I can raise both sides to the power 18. So let's do it. Um, and if I do, I get the following, right? So, and this is, we know that 2 to the 8th power is um, 256 and, let, where is that list? Okay, 2 to the power 8 is uh, 2 to 256 and it is less than, actually, no, not less than, greater than 3 to 5. So, okay, so this is greater than that. This is greater than that, and this gives us 2 to the power 144 is greater than 3 to the power 90. Now, this is critical. I'm trying to compare 2 to the power 142 to 3 to the power 90, so I can divide both sides by 2, but that's going to give me something like this. We know that 2 to the power 142 is greater than this number divided by 4, but the question is, is this number greater than or less than 3 to the power 90? So we wouldn't really know. So this is not really a good method. But but a lot of times you only see the solution that works. So sometimes people are surprised like, okay, how did you get to the answer? Well, we tried many different things and then finally we got the answer. Now, of course, another alternative would be just calling this number A and then calling the other number B and then just logging both sides in any base you want. Doesn't really matter. Let's use 10. Uh, and if you do log A, you get this, which can be written as 142 times log 2. And if you log B, you get uh, log 9 to the power 45, which can be written as 45 log 9. And obviously, you can calculate these values using a calculator, but you're not allowed to use a calculator. So that's not a very good method. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.